Okay, in this tutorial what we're going to do is focus on add, adding the corrugated detail around the outside of the architainer. So we want to add this onto the top of the architainer. We'll select a view it from the top and we'll start a new sketch. And we're just going to zoom into the bottom corner to make it a little bit easier. Start by drawing a rectangle. That's not connected to that dot. To make this as easy as possible, we want to use these snap to features. You can see when the cursor is hovering over things, it's going orange, and that means you're creating a connection there that will keep that connected at all times, instead of having to put a dimension in yourself. So what you can do is right-click and escape your drawing, highlight over what you've drawn, and delete on your keyboard. Then, if you watch now when we draw the rectangle, we're going to snap to that corner, and then draw it out. Using the dimension tool now, we want this to poke out about 20 millimeters, and then we're going to have it 80 millimeters wide. And I've picked 80 because I know the 6 metre width of the architainer, the 80 is still going to fit in. Okay, So we'll finish that sketch and we're going to extrude that down now to the bottom of the architainer. So I'm going to select extrude, sketch 2, and then I'm going to change the way that we do this slightly. So instead of doing blind, which is where you put in the dimension, we're going to drop down and we're going to go up to face. Rotate your architainer around and just adjust that around so we can see the bottom click the bottom and it's taking your extrusion all the way down I'm going to make this a new part so that when we pattern this we can pattern the part and then we can add them together later on which is absolutely fine it will also work if you do it as a feature but this should make it a little bit more straightforward to understand so it's a new I've done all of the extrude, it's looking how I intended, so I'm going to finish that there. I'm going to zoom in. It's a different colour, you know it's a new part. Excellent. We're going to add two chamfers, this edge and this edge, and we're going to make that 20 mil to match the amount it comes out, and you can see it's created that corrugated effect now. And then I can just click tick as a finish on that. I then want to start to pattern this the whole length of the architainer, before then doing it all again on each of the four sides. So let's start the pattern. I'm going to look at it from the front so I can see what's going on. I'm going to create a linear pattern of part two and the direction is any line going in the correct direction that you're actually interested in. So direction, this line. Okay. The distance, if I, so if I set it at 80, they would start straight after one another. So I'm going to make it larger than 80. I'm going to double it so it's got an 80 mil gap between each one. And just see how it looks. You can always go back and change this. So I'm going to go 160 millimeters, And you can see we've got a corrugated detail, gap, and then the next one. I think that probably looks a little bit too much. I'm going to take it down to 140. Looks a little bit better. 120, final decision. Okay, I'm then going to play back with the number to get it lining up right to the end. So let's put in 20 of them and see where that takes us. So we're getting just past halfway. So let's try, or just before halfway, sorry, let's try 50. And we're getting really close to that end now. I'm happy with that little gap because that's how your architectures would probably look in real life. So if we finish that there, we now have those details. I will now repeat that same process on all four sides. The way we then join them all together is all of these parts here are actually just one. So I'm going to click on the top one, scroll all the way to the bottom, holding shift on my keyboard and press part 51, the bottom one. Right click and we're going to go to boolean. So boolean is a way of joining things together in different ways, either taking them away from one another or adding them to make one component from multiple. And that's what we want to do. So we're going to make sure union is selected. We've got all of our parts in the list here, and then we're going to click the tick. And you would do that after you've done every single side. And you see now I've only got one part in the list instead of 51. And if we have a look in, we've got quite a detailed architainer now on there. So when you start creating your windows and doors, you're still going to see that corrugated effect and add to that sense of realism that you're achieving with your architainer. Good luck.